Hello everyone. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be collecting some like terms in these expressions that we've got here. I've got three problems that are going to, I'm going to be doing with you of increasing difficulty. Our very first one that we're looking at is right here. We've got 3x plus negative 5x. So before I can do anything, I got to decide if these two terms like each other or not. Does this term like that one. It's got to follow two criteria. One, it needs to have the same variable. It needs to have the same letter, you could also say. So it has to have the same variable. And two, it needs to have the same exponent. So it needs to have the same little number above the letter. So I'm looking at these two, and I'm checking my first thing. It needs to have the same variable. Is this letter the same as that letter? Why, yes it is. So that's the first criteria met. It needs to also have the same exponent. And I don't see a number there, and I don't see a number there, so it must be the same. So these two terms are like terms, and I can put them together. So I've got 3x's plus minus 5x's. So that's a little confusing. But you could say that we've got um, 3x's and somebody is short 5x's. So we could say that we are short 2x's, kind of down 2. In our head, you could also kind of think that we're doing 3 minus 5 in order to figure out what number goes in front of that x. That x doesn't get subtracted from the other x. It still stays there. We're only adding and subtracting the numbers in front right here. The coefficients is their term. So we're just dealing with the coefficients. But that one's done. Here is our answer here, our minus 2x. That's perfect answer. We're all done with that problem. Looking at this next one. I need to find out where my like terms are. So first, it needs to have the same variable. And this and this are the same variable, but y is a very different letter from x. So 2y is kind of its own sort of term. Nobody likes 2y. These ones have x's and that one has a y, so they are not friends. They do not like each other. But I'm curious about these two. I want to see if these two like each other. They need to have the same exponent. This one doesn't have anything, and this one doesn't have anything. So these two do like each other. So I can combine those two blue terms, but I cannot do anything with the purple one. So I'm going to deal with the two blue terms first. I've got 9x's plus 3 more x's. So I have to do 9 plus 3 is 12x plus my 2y, even though nobody likes it, that doesn't mean that we don't like it. We still like it, so we're still going to include it in our answer to get our answer to be 12x plus 2y. That's a perfect answer. That's wonderfully done. If you want to, you could even write it the other way, 2y plus 12x. That's also a good answer. So if you were working ahead of me and you wrote what's in orange right now, you are still right. You just wrote it in a different order. Now the last one is a little scary. I should have told you that before I quickly flipped to it, but don't be intimidated. It's not all that bad. We're going to work our way through this bit by bit. So first thing I've got, I'm going to write that reminder for me. I want to have the same, and I'm going to write letter this time. Same letter. And two, I want same exponent. Ponent. All right. So I'm looking for the same letter and the same exponent. So I've got all of these terms here. Look at all these terms. Woo! There's a lot of them that have x's in them. So there's a lot that have the same letter. So there's right now, I think there's four like terms. But if I check the same exponent, this one has a 2, this one has well, 1 or nothing, this one has a 2, and this one has 1 or nothing. So I believe that these two like each other because they have both the same letter and the same exponent. They have to have both of those 
criteria. And same thing with this 3x and this minus x. Those two also like each other because, again, they have the same letter and the same exponent. Now, note that in this box I caught that minus. We're going to talk about that in a second, but make sure if you're working with me that you caught that minus as well. So, looking at the orange boxes, I've got an x squared and a 3x squared. So, I've got one x squared over here and three more over there. So, I've got like four x squareds. Next, I'm going to look at the red boxes. Now, those red boxes are a little weird. Since this one had a minus with it, I didn't want to ignore that minus and let that be outside of the box. That wouldn't be nice because we don't want to ignore that. We can kind of ignore um, pluses because they, they don't mean as much because they're just more combining. We already want to combine stuff, but we, it's easy to miss minuses. So we've got three x's and then we're going to take away one of these x's. We've got three minus one, so we've got minus 2x. Now you maybe have been thinking, what about these? What about these two? Are those two like terms? Well, sure. Do they have the same letter? Do they both have no letter? Yeah. Do they have the same exponent? They both have like no exponent. So yeah, those are also like terms. 9 plus 4 is 13. So here is my multicolored answer to this problem. 4x squared minus 2x plus 13 is the answer that I came up with. If you have any questions, feel free to track me down um, and keep practicing.